you may have noticed, unlike most mornings on the Disney cruise, I slept in on the first morning, I know, but we, you know, we went forward in time. Time is now 8.10. I thought it would be 7.10, but we went through a time zone. It's, the sunrise was earlier than expected. Don't worry, we have many more nights to catch the sunrise first thing. I have to say though, having the navigator's veranda to experience some of the morning at sea is truly phenomenal. This is where we'll be in just a few hours. I should have brought my sunglasses, but it is a beautiful morning out at sea. Even though I'm waking up a little later for myself, still relatively low crowds around me. Oh my gosh, the lobby atrium, it looks phenomenal. I'm just taking a moment to appreciate all of this. I love the holidays and experiencing it here on the Wonder at sea. The tree, the garland, it's phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. Maybe sleeping in was for the best this morning, simply because we'll be able to stay up later tonight and experience more of the magic. See the candy canes as the pillars right here, frosting all over there. Our presents right there. The tree larger than life. Look at this and the star up there. Just there, there's something magical. Disney Cruise at sea, very merry time. I'm gonna make my way aft now, get dad some coffee, get myself probably some hot chocolate or water to start the morning. And then dad and I are probably gonna get a very, very light breakfast. Maybe nothing, maybe we won't get anything because we're saving our appetites for Palo brunch in just over two hours. Taking some time now to enjoy our navigator's veranda beautiful views and then in about 20 minutes or so we're gonna go and meet Black Widow before we have to change for brunch. We're headed now toward the lobby atrium to do a meet and greet with Pluto but sure enough my phone still has not changed to Eastern Time despite me trying to connect and everything it will not change so I have a feeling we're actually not in Eastern Time yet because I think our phones would have changed by now so we just have to kind of remember and use the watch to know what time it is. Pluto how are you with this? Oh. Thank Pluto. Just took a look at some of our photos, Dad. Phenomenal. Outstanding. Worth the package, though. It's yes, worth the whole trip. Yeah. It, no, I don't know about the whole. It's <laughs> it's phenomenal. Yes, absolutely. They're they're part of it. They're a big yep. part of it. But yep. it's uh, they turned out phenomenal. And Pearl, extremely helpful cast member in Shutters. She does a phenomenal job along with the entire team. They got everything set to go. Our package was uh, had to be linked to it. Took them like five seconds, and it's all set to go. So I'll be able to look at the photos as we take them on my phone during our voyage. We're we're now headed over to meet Black Widow, who I have never met on board a Disney cruise ship before. The different cruise ships, the artwork is just, just amazing. Morning. Good morning. Widow, how are you? Hello, Good to see Agent. you. How's it going? Doing very well. Very well. Barton and I were talking about how we have to have you on a mission in the future. We were working on one. You weren't huh? available. Thank you, Widow. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Have a good one. Thank, Thank you. Your special mission. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was awesome. Time to find a piece of merchandise for Dad to remember the. See, Lexi, this is what happened. Do you remember the adventure, Dad? Yes. We gotta look for something that you would enjoy. I'm thinking like sweatshirt or jacket. That's what I yeah. want. Like jacket. To remember, you know, very merry time cruise. I love I love that shirt. I have that one. I'm looking for like a like a not a sweatshirt but a jacket. The gray color, I feel like I have enough gray sweatshirts. I want something, I don't know, a little bit more colorful. Very special show happening tonight. Okay, let's check in white caps. Here we go, wait a second. That is very interesting. Oh, it's kind of, it's got the one Disney Cruise Line right there. It's kind of light. of great items in here. I mean a ton, but not that kind of like, I'm, I'm not saying windbreaker, but light-ish, slight, medium jacket. Even though it's not a jacket, that is very nice. That's actually pretty cool. Unless it jumps out at me, I feel like, I mean, I, I like it a lot, but it's somehow 
but I'm looking for something really, really just jumps, jumps at me. I have this shirt thanks to a very kind friend. Love it. I feel like I'm always looking at hats, but never wear hats. I like that one a lot, Disney Wonder. I feel like I'd get it super dirty super fast. <laughs> I, always try, I try to avoid the white white sweatshirt. We didn't find that kind of light windbreaker jacket that Dad and I were looking for at Whitecaps or Mickey's Main Sale. So later this afternoon, we're gonna go downstairs. There's another shop that we can look at on deck three. We'll, we'll do that later. Beautiful day at sea. After you. Okay, time for Apollo for brunch. And you know what that means. Gotta transform into something a little bit more formal. So what do you think? Too fancy or just right for a very special Apollo brunch with my dad? Celebrating your birthday. I see. It's a very special yeah. occasion here. Christmas, birthday, special occasions. Yeah. Enjoy your brunch. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate it. Very fancy place. You're glad, okay, so dad's glad we didn't eat beforehand. This is the adults only brunch for at sea days only at Palo on the Disney Wonder. Our very kind server Ernesto told us that there is one complimentary beverage on the house and he definitely told us we have to try the mimosa and other drinks so we're going to get those drinks on the table but neither dad nor I drink that much so we're just going to try a sip see what we think but uh, it's so nice to be here. The atmosphere, the feeling, the, the low volume, it is just a beautiful location and look at the view we have. We are located right next to the after the ship. You can see the ocean right out there. Gorgeous. Vegetables, they're chilled and they're marinated with olive oil and balsamic. Fantastic quality of a black caviar, scallops, that is octopus salad, tray where you find so many different cherry with sage, pork wine brandy, that is all. You have the chocolate strawberries, panna cotta, tiramisu, lovely tartlets and chocolate slice with a pistachio there. The Korean cheese comes from Sardinia Island, it's a ship's milk. Some croissant with almonds, all these little muffins in there. totally lost track of all that I have here on this plate, but it, I'm just trying a sampler of as many things as possible just to give you a wide selection. You can see the mozzarella, the scallop, the salmon, the smoked salmon, the shrimp, all sorts of different salamis, this hummus right there in that little cup. I mean, wow, wow. Let's give a few of these a try. I've figured out how to put you up on the window. I'm taking a picture so you can see just how you're positioned on the window here, but uh, that's where you're gonna sit. That's how sea scup's supposed to be done. Mm. I've already forgotten what this is, but this is salmon? It looks really good. It's in a spoon like this. It's it's interesting flavor. Interesting. Good smoked salmon. So far though, the sea scallop, number one. Number one by far sea scallop. A little bit of spice to it. A little bit of spice to it here, but super good. Okay, second plate. You can see there's a lot of cheese on there. They've got those, I think, crab claws. This is the trout mousse, supposed to be very good. Asparagus, deviled eggs, prosciutto, and feta cheese, and a couple other cheeses right there that you can see. All looks phenomenal. This is a, more of an aged brie here. This would be, this would be my mom's favorite cheese. Mom would love it, but not my favorite. Take a look, Ernesto is steeping our tea right now, and he's using this uh, little sand, <laughs> sand timer to tell us when the black tea will be done. Feta cheese. My, oh my, Michelle, my sister, would go absolutely nuts for that. Wow. These are, these are different rock styles of sugar here. So we're going to try, Ernesto recommended these two. Tea. Unbelievable. These, these little rocks of sugar. I, I know, it, it seems silly, but for me, this is, this is special. Overall, I've got to tell you right now, super impressed. And I would come back here in a heartbeat. We're about to try the main dishes. But just from what we've seen with the service, the food, for again, $30 per person, in addition to what you already paid for the cruise, worth it hands down. Dad's agreeing with me. I'm not going to turn the camera because you're in a good spot, but Dad is totally agreeing with me here. At first we were a little hesitant, like, oh, more money for the cruise. This one's worth it. I'm so glad you recommended it. Many friends recommended this one to us. Wow. I gotta be honest, when I first thought about Palo, I didn't think they'd be able to do even better in the dining rooms all around the ship. And is it is it better? Kind of. Yeah. It's, it's, it's shocking because this is... If downstairs is like the, the super restaurant, and this is just like the the ultra restaurant. I don't even know. Like once you get to like amazing food, how do you, you just continue to get even more 
incredible. So I'm just, I'm blown away. I am blown away and I'm so glad we're here. Here's Dad's chicken parmesan. Yeah. Take a look at how well it is related there. It looks delicious and smells so good. Enjoy, Dad. And here is my lasagna. Very hot plate, but you can see it right there. Look at how well that is related. I'm so impressed. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You've got to try this. I'm calling it right now the best piece of lasagna I've ever had. Phenomenal. The best lasagna I've ever had. No doubt. You were so right. Okay, now I'm trying Dad's chicken parmesan. Oh my gosh. That is. You can never have chicken parmesan again. You can never have chicken. Let me have your fork. I want to try lasagna. Yeah, I might choose the chicken parmesan, but the lasagna is phenomenal. I will be eating this entire lasagna. Between the two, I think we both agree chicken parmesan is the winner. Now I get it. Now I understand why so many of my friends were saying, go to Palo, go to Palo, go to Palo. This is why. This is, wow. The question you might be asking, Michael, is Palo worth an additional $30? Stop right there. Stop right there. Yes, it is. Truly impressed. Truly impressed. The manager and the head chef came by just to make sure we're happy. And it's just, it's, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot come up here every single day. Dad's kind of in shock here of the whole thing. I gotta move the camera for this one. This is truly remarkable. Unbelievable. Couldn't have said it better myself. We have made it to the dessert, and I have several things to show you. This is tiramisu in a very cool little wine glass there. A traditional cannoli right there. The uh, cappuccino something. Like a, like, I'm not sure what that is, but it's a cappuccino something. Here is the tart, the strawberry tart. And then here is the um, the uh, berry jelly thing. A little gel gelatin in there and berries. It all looks delicious. Since we're in Palo, first thing I'm going to try, traditional cannoli. Not bad. Not bad. I have a feeling that there are going to be others, though, that are my favorite. I'm tempted by this tiramisu. I'm a huge tiramisu fan, but I'm, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it. So far, though, the, the desserts haven't just blown my mind like the entrees and appetizers have. But we haven't gotten to some other things, like the um, cappuccino something. That's very good. So far, that's my favorite. I'll have to figure out the official name, but... Uh, Oh, that's very good. And now for the moment that I've been waiting for, tiramisu. My gut tells me this is going to be the best. This is what my gut tells me, just because it looks nice. It's an interesting one. You know, I've actually, I think I've actually had better tiramisu, to be honest with you. But this is a phenomenal one. The cappuccino cream is what I'm going to call for now. Actually might be my favorite. As big as my eyes are to eat just about everything, I'm getting to that point in the meal where I'm, I'm getting to a few things. I wanted to try the, uh, the saffron here, which is, I think, cheese inside this uh, this ball here, which actually is supposed to be super good. Several different cheeses, some, I think it's uh, salami, and these Nutella puff sticks. I saw this and I was just saying to myself, okay, I gotta try it. I probably wouldn't go for it immediately when I'm here again, trying these saffron. Saffron here. It's okay. The saffron wouldn't get that one again. Dad and I are in agreement here. The appetizer items over by the buffet and the entree are the best. Yeah, Dad agrees. The best at Palo. You want to fill up on those things. The desserts are okay, but the entrees and appetizers is what you come here for. Totally worth the cost. I would come here again in a heartbeat. I'm looking forward to the next time that I'm here. Dad, your thoughts? In addition to what Michael said, I strongly, strongly recommend the chicken parmesan. You gotta go for that. That's out of this world. So, after an amazing brunch at sea, a plus from both of us. Looking forward to coming back again soon. Dad and I are facing a problem here. We both love another one of those scallops or something else from over there, but we know that if we eat just about anything else, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. We're gonna be so full, I'm not gonna feel well, so. I'm playing it smart, but I'll be back at Palo, no doubt about it. And in celebration of Dad's very special day, well worth the cost and additional gratuity for the amazing service that we got. Dad, one out of ten. Yeah. How did you enjoy Tapalo? 
That comes close to a 12. Really? That never, good? Never I've never heard it. you give a restaurant that kind no, of rating. I've never had that kind of restaurant before. Yeah, that was impressive. Yeah. Okay, time to change and then maybe some meet and greets and possibly pool time. Okay, I've got the GoPro in hand and making my way toward the hot tub. We'll see if it is warm enough. It feels warm enough. I'm just gonna test it, we'll see. Hot tubs aren't too crowded. for a bit, not too long, because otherwise you lose all your energy for the day, but just a little bit. Now I'm sitting by Kobe Cafe, thinking about trying some of these uh, specialty food drinks, or maybe the drink of the day. Several friends told me about the drink of the day, just thinking about that one maybe, and then uh, this afternoon, I'm gonna meet with Stitch and Captain Hook and Mr. Smee. They're meeting around 1.15ish, so that'll be fun. After some phenomenal jacuzzi time and relaxation, I've changed once again, and probably gonna make my way around the ship, do a little bit of looking around and meet and greets in a little bit, probably about uh, 25 minutes. Of the times I've been on the Wonder, I don't think I've ever been up here. I'm kind of overlooking the adult-only area on deck 10. Michael going on the Disney Wonder game. Well, walking down from deck 10, making my way near the family pool. Where could it be? Near Pinocchio's Pizzeria? Hmm. Ah yes, the banana ice cream has returned. I remember that. Yum. Pretty sure the banana flavor is my favorite. Captain Hook and Mr. Smee are by the gazebo. Line gets very long. Finding time to sit back and relax by Coke Cafe. picked up some desserts from Coke Cafe. You don't need days to unwind on this boat. You're going to relax the very first day. This is super. It's the fact that we're learning from experiences. We're taking more time to relax now. we got a lot to do this afternoon. We have so many things to experience. But we're taking some time now to just sit back, relax, and enjoy ourselves. Just look at the sea. I have out-relaxed the day. He is ready to move, but I'm just sitting back. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. We're back in the after hours section. We're doing a little bit more shopping, looking for one of those kind of light jackets that we're hoping to find. This is Azure. This is for like special events, uh, maybe a magic show, stage show, also where all of the bingo takes place on board. Okay. I'm going to play bingo. We can do some window shopping because Sea Treasures is not open yet. Look right there, Dad. Look. That's what I'm talking about. There's some kind of windbreaker jacket right there on the end. So blue, I, th dark yep, blue. dark blue one. I think we are, uh, are looking at something we might want later on. Oh my gosh, I think I, I was laughing so hard. No spoilers. Two. Yeah. For the, uh, looks really good. Huh? Just give me your room number. This is a zip in pouch. Yep, so it goes in. Yeah. We've scoured every store and I think we have found the items we were looking for. Those windbreaker jackets are perfect. So we're going back to the room now to grab those gift cards that you sent me. It really means a lot that you sent them. That way we're gonna have something matching to remember this magical trip together. Thank you again. Dad brings up a very good point. How often would we wear a windbreaker on a Disney cruise? Maybe a colored shirt would go further. We're, we're just trying to find something that would work for everyone and match for for both of us. Uh, so tough to decide. Okay, all right. As we're walking toward the room, we are having a change of heart. We're thinking that maybe we won't get as much use out of a windbreaker jacket because we have other jackets. I mean, how many jackets do you need? So I feel like colored shirts or a different shirt we would use more frequently around not only the ship but around home too. So. A lot of, a lot of things to consider. Big thanks to Dad for helping me think that through. I mean, you know, you when you first think about it, it's like the windbreaker feels just more substantial. But I, I have windbreakers, and I don't use them nearly as frequently as I do shirts or collared shirts. Yeah. I feel like we would get so much more use out of something like that. Yeah. Dad was absolutely right. This is this is a Dad thing. I, dad gets all the credit. That, that makes a lot more sense. It looks it looks nice, but it's it's very subtle Disney Cruise Line. So subtle, you can't you can't tell you can't tell it's Disney Cruise Line. I, I like I don't know. I, 
Maybe you just I like a certain style. Really it's, not, it's, not, it's not really like grabbing me. It, it, it grabs you more than anything else. I, I like it. 2018 Disney Cruise Line commemorating the father-son adventure. It's the dry fit. Yeah, I think this is the shirt. Okay, we're pretty sure we know what shirt we're going to get. We're going to go downstairs to let Robert know that we're probably not going to get those windbreakers. We're going to take one more look just to make sure. But those 2018 ones, those are really nice. And the dry fit, it, it's one of my favorites. I definitely wear Yeah, I would, I would wear that. The 2018. I'd wear it outside, I'd wear it to Disney World, I'd wear it all over the place, so pretty sure that's the shirt. One of these days we're gonna try bingo. Wanna see a lot of things to do on board. Appreciate it, you can put them back. Okay. Thank you though, appreciate you holding them. Officially changed our minds. Okay, checking out and have a few special things for uh, mom and Michelle, not showing you here. These amazing shirts and some gifts for family is thanks to Karen, Vicky, Steve, and Randy. Thank you so much for your gift cards. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That banana is something else. Something else. Daisy, how are you? Good to see you. You're looking elegant for tonight. You know, I, don't, I have to match your style. I gotta change. Once I change though, we're gonna be on the same level, okay? All right, I'll be looking for you there. Thanks, Daisy. See you, see you, see you later. Uh, so that you did, that was good though. That was very, very nice, very, very nice. See my formal attire too, so I'll be able to match your little part. Yeah, tie, I'll have to tie on the bed. <laughs> You'll see me there. Oh, there you go. Oh, good mini. There you go. Okay. I don't know if the characters uh, expect you to give a kiss on the hand there, but alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's good. Okay, now we're headed back to our stateroom to change for formal night. And here's our room with, you can tell, Mickey right there. Ocean, more ocean. This is my happy place. Bedtimes do not exist. This is our room. Welcome to formal night. You can see Dad and I are taking formal night to the next level on this cruise. What do you think? Vest, tie, works, right? You can even see Mickey cufflinks. Good to see you. You're looking perfect for... This time, this time, formal night. Formal night. You know, I tried to match your style a little bit more this time. Gotta love formal night. So much to look forward to. The captain's reception with the holidays. Ah, the perfect opportunity to take solo pictures. This is a pro tip on formal night. Get here early because if you're here early, you can take pictures in the lobby basically by yourself in your formal attire. So, pro tip. Time is now 4.50. Take a look. A few people out there, but not too crowded. So the earlier you are, the better. Hey, hey there. You got the bow tie. Got the, you know, got the snowman tie. We're getting there. I'm getting close to your level here. You, do, do you see me before? You saw me before? I saw, you remember me earlier. You know, I, I'm glad you did because I saw you too. I saw you, I'm glad I get to meet you though. Special pictures tonight in front of the gingerbread house. We have in front of the tree and right by, of course, Ariel statue. Now you can tell I'm actually next to Tritons now. The line is actually really long to get to that staircase photo. It's because of the Christmas season. Just spoke to one of the head photographers, Pearl. Extremely kind and friendly. Just gets longer this time of year. I love Captain's Reception. Time is now 5.30, I'm still shocked. I guess it shouldn't be, because it's Captain's Reception on a very merry Christmas cruise. Captain's Line, very short. Gingerbread House and Christmas Tree, very long. And this one near the staircase is also very long. It goes all the way back all around Triton, so it varies. You wanna get here early, you wanna be ready to go, get those shots as soon as you can. Phenomenal shot. Time to meet Captain Henry for the very first time, and we've got a very talented photographer, Thomas. All right, nice shots, Thomas. All right. For those critical shots, you can see there's a cast member standing by to help you make sure the picture is absolutely perfect. I think for Disney to add this is just genius. All right, great team. Thank you, Ty. So this is where the pre-show happens for the Golden Mickeys. You can see they've got camera equipment out there ready to grab someone from the audience to help them start the very special show. Now we're about to go see the Golden Mickeys. I can't film anything, but I'll tell you all about it. It's hard to describe that one. You know, one of the things that I forget so easily about the show is the tribute to Walt. And you know, I shouldn't forget it because, you know, when I was seeing it the first time and the second time, you appreciate all the acting and the effects for the tribute to Walt. It grabs you, it really grabs you, and you don't want to forget him. The man who started it all with the dream. So powerful. When you see it for the first and even second time, just like I did, you, you get so wrapped up with the amazing acting and the performances and the effects during the show. Even on the walls, like look on the walls, it's, it's unbelievable. When you see it, 
but then you, you listen and you watch and you pay attention in a different way once you've seen it a few times and it's that tribute to Walt that really speaks to me. Love the Golden Rickies. Now after the show and before dinner, it's a great time to enjoy the captain's reception. Again, if you missed a photo or want to say hi to the captain again or get another photo, great opportunity, but also character meet and greets before dinner, informal attire, so many things to do. Now I've said it before and I'm definitely going to say it again. The cast members and crew on board at the Disney Wonder and all the Disney cruise ships work incredibly hard. When you stand up here and you're waiting for a character, for example, I can see how hard everyone is working to make sure we have an absolutely amazing experience. So huge shout out to the entire cast and crew. Thumbs up. We are now in formal. I you. Thanks, Vinny. See you later. Thank you very much. I love that formal attire. Now, Dad, this is your first sea day that you've ever experienced. Yes. Your thoughts after sea day number one. Well, let's start out with the highlight. Apollo. Okay, Apollo brunch highlight for Dad. I'm ready. Number two, the relaxation just looking at the ocean. That was magical. Yeah. Yeah. I've we'll, never felt so relaxed. We'll do more of that. We're going to do more of that. Dad's first time ever, ever at Ed Mayor's Palette on the Wonder. Yeah, so we have a lot of great characters around us, and throughout the night, Dad's going to see a special surprise, which I'm not going to ruin for him right now, but you may recall it from the last vlog. Something's going to happen to the pictures. Just keep an eye on them. Animated Mickey moving around the front. Trouble pasta, tomato tart. It seems new, right? So Sophia recommended the black truffle pasta, the butternut squash soup, and either the grilled tuna steak or the ginger teriyaki dusted Angus beef tenderloin, which I think I tried before with that wasabi mashed potatoes. It was spectacular, but I'm also thinking about trying something new. I'm gonna go with your suggestion. Black truffle, uh, butternut, do you want the soup, butternut uh, squash? Soup, no soup? No other soup for you, no cheddar cheese? Okay, and then I'll do the uh, tuna as well. Tuna steak. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank Something's you. happening. Oh, here we go. Wait, something is happening. You can see something is happening on the walls. I'm going to try and make that clear for you. There are drawings being done right there on the wall. There's a little circle. We're going to try and guess who the characters are. That one is definitely Stitch over there, but it is so fun to look around and guess and let's see what they're drawing. And Dad and I have gotten most of them right. Not all of them. I thought, that, I thought Jopi was Minnie for a minute, but we're getting there. There is the completed Stitch right there. Yep, you can see him. Cool. Okay, black truffle pasta, and I do remember it from the last cruise. And Dad has the salmon tartare. Oh my gosh, Dad. Yeah, try that. Salmon tartare. Isn't that great? They're both phenomenal. Yeah, they're both phenomenal. I guess if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick your salmon. Just because I'm a huge fan of salmon. Some dishes fell. It happens. This salmon, you have to try. It's amazing. It's amazing pasta and appetite. Very, very good. I'm always trying to improve my food analysis. So I'm trying to say like things are only okay, could be better, medium. But the Disney Cruise food, it's so hard to do that because so much of it is phenomenal. That's still just really, really good. Like a creamy butternut. I mean, it's really good. Please, thank you. Perfect. Ready for me to try it? You sure? Okay. okay. Yeah. The sauce. You gotta do it with the sauce. It, it felt like it was missing something when I first bit into it. Once you add it with the sauce, it really puts it together super well. It's good. Definitely good. Not my favorite thing on the cruise line though. I probably would not get it again as long as I remember that I wouldn't get it again. Now time to try the lemon icebox cake. Sometimes these things are a little bit too lemonade. This one is perfect. It's a mix of sweetness and lemon. I recommend it. I'm giving Dad's date pudding a try. Oh yeah, that's just up your alley. Super sweet, moist. Yeah, that's very good. Dad's trying deconstructed carrot cake as well with his own addition, caramel sauce on the side. Not so good, even with the caramel sauce. It's also no sugar added. I should add that, so. We like things with sugar for dessert. Can you blame us? All of the masterpieces are just about done, colored in, in full, so you know we're close to the end of the meal here. But we're really surrounded by true art. Whoa. It will be.
if I were gonna go up above you here. Here it comes. There it goes. What do you think of your dinner show, Dad? Very nice. I've never seen this one. I've got to say, having a seat right next to the aisle as the servers and Mickey walk down, it adds to the experience. It really does. You can feel the whole place come alive. I love that show. There's something to be said about the drawing one, too, where you animate your own character. That's something to be said for that one. But this one definitely has a spot. After a phenomenal dinner here at Animator's Pilot, we are making our way to actually go meet Pluto in our formal attire. And then we're going to just kind of relax for the rest of the night. The golden Mickey after party. Sudden change of plans. We're gonna meet Pluto a little bit later. Now we're actually gonna get these headshots with this blue background and maybe we'll circle back again for some new poses by the tree and gingerbread house. Never a dull moment. Remember how the crowds looked earlier in the captain's reception? The captain is not here now, but take a look at the difference here. It is 10, 10 p.m. The photos close at 10.30, totally different line experience. You can just walk over and get a picture with this blue background. So it's a completely unique perspective when you don't have all the crowds here. So later works too. Dad wants to see Avengers Infinity War. It goes till midnight. That's okay. You gotta see if your sister will kill me. No, she won't. She would understand and we could see it on DVD. Midnight seems kind of late for a sunrise. I want to see what you want to see. Dad said he was kidding. I don't believe him. Dad. After an absolutely magical day, Dad and I are making our way back to our room now. I asked Dad seriously if he was considering that movie. He was kidding, apparently, the whole time. Still got to figure that out for sure because it's showing again on board. But we do want to see if Ralph breaks the internet. Absolutely. That's different. Okay. We definitely want to see that I one. But we have to stay up till 3 a.m. for that one. Okay. Fair enough. But tomorrow is a Key West day, a place I have never been to before. Can't wait to share all of that magic and more with you tomorrow. But until then, it's time for some sleep and hopefully I'll be able to catch the sunrise tomorrow morning. You can see PA Dad did an amazing job with our room. There's an elephant waiting for Dad on his bed right there and my bed is all made. We're ready for a night's sleep. Thank you so much for joining me for another magical day. We've still got a whole vacation basically ahead of us. There's another magical day tomorrow at Key West. Until then, have an absolutely magical night.